To create an account, click on the Create Account button in the upper right corner. Enter your first name, your last name, an email address, a password, re-enter the password, and then click on the Login button. You should then be returned to the home page. If you have already created an, e an account and want to log in, click on the Sign In button, enter the email address, and the login password that you use for the site. You must click on the login button. Once you have logged in, it will show you show your first name. You can now use the playlist, which is covered in another video, and the favorites. Favorites is a good place to store videos for later use. You can email them, add them to a playlist, or delete them. The folders allow you to store videos in one area for e easier organization. Let's go back to the home page. You can browse for videos with the subjects or special collections tabs, but we will look at this video on Bali. In the upper right corner is where you can turn on and off closed captions. This would expand the video to full screen. This is the volume control. From here, you can email a video. Just put in the email address that you're sending to, your name, so they know who sent it, and a message if you want. You can add it to a playlist or to your favorites. Either add it to an existing folder or create a new folder to save the video to. You can embed the video onto another site like Blackboard. Films also provides a citation for the video. They only have MLA in the Chicago manual style right now. Double check that the citation is accurate before using it. There is also a URL that you can use to share this video with. On the right side, the default display shows all of the segments in the video. A description and time for each segment is provided. You can watch any segment you want by clicking on the segment. As you can see, the video will automatically start playing if you do this. Another display is the full title. This gives you a full description of the video and the length of time. A third display will show any video that are related to the current video. Some videos may not have a full title. They may have a transcript of the captions. It will highlight the words as they are spoken. You can also print a copy of the transcript.